All right, what do we have here? Is it a 555 timer? Is it an op amp? What is it? <laughs> um, I finally got my, um, my pre-selector. So let's take a look at this over here. I think that'll be all right. Okay. A little bit sideways for me, but. All right, so this is a SAB6456A prescaler, and it's out of uh, television sets. And they're very simple to use. You put five volts on them, and you AC couple into pin two, and you AC couple out pin seven, and there's a little bit of bypassing on pin three, but you just bring in VHF, and it should divide it by, um, I think it should divide it by 256. I think if you, I don't have the data sheet in front of me. Oh, yes, I do. I do have the data sheet. Okay. Uh, so let's zoom out a little bit. So it's one of these. And pin, uh, pins two and three are the input and mode control is pin five. So pin five is floating on my breadboard, but if you do something with pin five, it goes to 60, divide by 64, I believe. Yeah, so you put a, uh, a switch on it here. Let's see what pin five is defined. Pin, pin five, pin five, pin five. Uh, mode control. Uh, open circuit, it divides by 64, and divide by 256, you ground it. So it should divide, should, it should divide by 64, the way it's uh, configured right now. All right, so I have a, a scope probe on the, uh, on the input, and I am inputting, uh, instead of over there, I'm inputting 144 megahertz, it's reading 143.99. Um, and let's go over here, let's move the, oh, and we're inputting, about oh, 75 millivolts peak to peak, something like that. No, 100 and f I'm sorry, 150 volts peak to peak, 150 millivolts peak to peak. And I think it's good up to 300 millivolts if I remember the data sheet right. Where are we? All right, so let's move the scope to the output. Let's see what the output looks like. And we'll come back and we go, whoa, it's way big. So let's lower this and uh, let's zoom this out. There we go. And now we're at 2.25 megahertz. So let's get out our, uh, get out our calculator. Uh, 144 divided by 64 equals 2.25. So it is divided by 64. So, so this is great. So uh, all I have to do is add this circuit uh, to my breadboard or to my radio, and I will be able to bring in frequency ranges around uh, two and a half megahertz. And I can certainly measure that with the Arduino. Uh, that's a very low voltage. So I don't have to add very much at all. Um, the only other thing that people do, I'll show you back, back over here. The only thing that people do is they, they sometimes put some back-to-back uh, -back diodes here uh, for protection on the input. So you limit yourself to, uh, you know, 700 millivolts or something like that. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't know if I need that or not. Maybe I'll put it in, maybe I won't. I don't know yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, very encouraging. Super, super simple chip to use. It's pretty cheap. I think I paid a buck and a half. I bought five of them. Um, just so I can play with some. And uh, yeah, that'll be the next thing to do. All right, uh, so I have this uh, counter prototyped. Uh, so ignore, ignore everything except for the last, the last number there, the 145.000, or if 145.000, there's no dot. Um, so that's um, gonna be the way this thing works, is all of these other numbers are the setting that I'm going to put this DAC value in. That DAC value should give me a VCO of 133.3, and that should equate to 144.00. Then it's going to actually measure the frequency that you get, 
with the frequency counter and it'll compare these two numbers and they better be equal. If they're not equal, then it'll, it'll change the DAC until they are equal. So right now I'm inputting 145 uh, megahertz with a function generator. Let me put in 144 megahertz and uh, you can see the number change. There we go, 144 megahertz. So uh, the counter is working just great, all right? So I showed you the, uh, the prescaler. Now I did have to add one, one transistor on it. And let me show you what I did there. I just copied um, what others have done before me. Stand on the uh, shoulder of giants. All right, so uh, here is a, a, a typical example of somebody who built a frequency counter. They used the prescaler. The prescaler is a uh, capacitively coupled out and the voltage range can vary. So you wanna make sure that you have the right voltage range for your microprocessor. And so they put in a, um, a transistor here with a 1K pull up to five volts. So that'll whack up and down five volts and then they have it just uh, biased on with a 39k resistor and uh, so I added that I added a 2n2222 and I put in a I had a, a 33k so I put in a 33k and so I'm getting a good waveform out now it goes all the way up to five volts and uh, obviously it works fine so uh, there we go so now that we have an actual working uh, function generator this is outside the machine right now um, I can measure the actual frequency. I can set a frequency and make the VCO move. Now I need to put it into a loop in the firmware so that it, uh, it is always, uh, it's always settling down and making sure that whatever you set it to is actually the real number. So that's the next step.